Hi guys, Rob 46 here, welcome yourselves back to the MotoGP 23 preview on the PC. Um, one thing I wanted to do today is test out the curbs. So obviously, MotoGP 21, the curbs were horrendous. MotoGP 22, they were, they were improved. Um, some, some of the curbs were still pretty, uh, rough and pretty bad and very difficult to use. You had to pretty much stay off them. SBK22, they were horrendous again. Um, you couldn't even go on them without crashing or just being flicked up in the air. So I do want to test out the curbs on MotoGP23 on the preview. Um, so let's go to historical tracks. Um, we know Aragon has pretty bad curbs. So I think that's what we'll do to begin with. Um, and then we'll test out some other circuits as well and see what their uh, curbs are like. Right, so let's just head straight out and uh, see what the curbs are like around Aragon. Obviously, it's only a historical track now, Aragon, which I'm very happy about because I hate this circuit. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what the curbs are like. Like that exit there, if you go on the curb there on like MotoGP 21 and 22, you can lose a bit of time. And the exit of this corner as well. And yeah, you still spin up quite a bit there. Curb seemed okay. That inside curb is usually a bad one to hit. I don't know why I activated the ride height device then. That was a silly place to do it. That one seemed okay. Curb. Bit wide there. Ooh. No, that's me down. <laughs> Got that completely wrong. Touch that inside curve, but that seemed okay. Weird line there. Yeah, so the bike does still spin up a little bit, coming out of there. Yeah, 
yeah, that, that curb's a bad one to go on. Look how much time we've lost. How much drive we lost as well. Let's just not worry about a lap time now. Let's just go on these curbs and... They're not throwing you about like they did on SBK22, that's for sure. That up. Oh, we're down. <laughs> it's fine, we're not going for a lap time on this one anyway. About this curb over here. One seemed okay. The inside ones don't actually seem too bad. Yeah, that exit one didn't seem great either. So we know some of the, the curbs are around here are still quite bad, but... It's not throwing you up in the air, it's just spinning up the rear more than anything. So you do still lose drive. I think it's time to go for a different circuit now. Right, let's try a different circuit. Um, let's go for... Just trying to think of some other um, circuits with bad curbs. Silverstone. Assen. Um, let's go with... Assen. Let's change our rider as well. Let's go for the beast. Right. Let's go straight out. Let's see how we get on here at Assen with the curbs. And obviously some curbs you're not going to go anywhere near anyway. It's nice to know which ones you can use. That wasn't good through there. 
That curb seemed okay. Probably way too early that. Even though we went over the edge of the curb, it seemed okay that one. Wobble on there. Oh, again. No. Oh. I mean, that was a hell of a save. Just got a massive wobble on on the brakes there, and uh, had to big the, pick the bike up. Okay, that curb's a bit dodgy. But we don't really want to be going out too far anyway. That one is okay. This outside one. Spins up the rear a little bit, but not too bad, I guess. It does seem that the curves do seem to be so far somewhat a bit more user friendly. That's wide. But some of them still you have to be a bit cautious about going on because it just it seems to just spin up the rear more than anything now rather than flicking you up in the air, which is I guess at the two, I'd rather just spin up the rear than be flicked up in the air. This is where we nearly crashed last time. that exit up big time. Wasn't a good end to that lap, that's for sure. Alright, we'll try one more track.
Alright, so last place we'll go, let's try out... Let's go to Mandalika. And let's use... Um, I'll tell you what, let's go for an Aprilia. Let's use Vinales. There he is. Right, now we go then at Mandalika. I guess what we should do as well is... Um, after we've done... Oh, hello. Autopilot, hello. <laughs> okay, Autopilot had no idea where we were going. That was weird. That was very weird. Okay, right. That curve was okay. A little bit bumpy, but obviously it's a curve, it's going to be bumpy, but didn't seem too bad. Oh. Come on. Yeah, that's... That curb spins you up a bit as well. Yeah, we will try after this lap. We'll come back here, but we'll do it in the rain and see what the curbs are like in the rain, because obviously they should, in theory, be more slippery. So we're not going to go for a bit of a time attack right now. We're just going to do this lap. Okay, and then we'll, we'll do back out of this, come back here in the rain. Um, and then see what the curbs are like in the rain. So let's just change that to rainy. Go back. Okay, so now we're trying the same circuit, Mandalika, but this time in the rain. Vinales has got his waterproof on. Okay, let's try. It doesn't seem to be raining that hard. I mean, that didn't seem too bad, to be fair. through turn one. Oh, that seemed a little bit more slippery and we're down. Poor Vinales. Definitely understeering more in the rain. Oh, that was very slippery. And again, at least we've got braking markers for that corner now, even though I've completely overshot it. They didn't have braking markers in MotoGP22 or SBK22 uh, for that hairpin, but they do now, which is good. So yeah, it does seem that in the wet, the curbs are more slippery. seen a couple of times going on the curb and uh, the other bike just stepping out like there as well.
we'll do this lap and then we'll we'll call it a day but yeah overall i think the curbs are a bit better some of them are you know still not great to use and some of them are definitely worth staying off of because they spin the rear up but they don't seem to flick the bike up in the air anymore which is obviously a good thing and they do seem to be a lot more slippery in the rain which is good because again that's how they should be oh. Okay, well we'll call it a day. So yeah, that has been another look at the MotoGP23 preview, this time testing out the curves, which do seem a, a little bit better, um, but it's not perfect. But yeah, and in the rain, they are a bit more slippery and uh, the rear does step out a lot more um, than in the dry. But that is it from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch hands, look after yourselves. See you guys next time. See you.